And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Azorius Skies is what we're going to be kicking the day off with today. Sometimes on Tuesdays we do Tier 1 Tuesdays over here. We've played a lot of the Tier 1 decks in Standard though already. So what we're doing for this special edition of Tier 1 Tuesdays, I'm taking four decks from the arena mcq this past weekend that made day two so they were these were the uh, four decks that were in the top 128 and i believe that was like a record of like seven two or better i believe and so we have four pretty spicy ones uh from there and so i'm going to be playing them all over in ranked today uh playing ranked for our tier one tuesday with these decks that did well in the mcq and we'll see how well we do with them as well Hawkeye's joining us. Hawkeye likes birds. Well, at least he's always looking out the window at the birds that come by and say hi and chirp in the morning, wake me up. Anyway, um, yeah, so this was an Azorius Skies deck. Looks pretty cool. We got 21 drops, not 21 drops. I don't, yeah, but 21 drops, which I'm a big fan of that because we're going to need some way to play our Safaras. Now, I've... I've played a few different decks with Safara. I've played a few different versions of decks like this. They haven't really worked out too well for me, but I'm pretty excited to try this out. Like, this is just a really cool card that I really like. I mean, angels are just cool, and this one is super big, 7-7, seven, seven, and it has lifelink. I'm all about lifelink because I don't like dying to aggro decks, so that's awesome. So, yeah, I'm just I'm pretty excited to try this deck out. We got our cool arena basics. Ooh, should we? Let's go with... I forgot to change this. I want to go with the Mirage Basics. I really like these Mirage Basics. And we haven't played... We played the Plains yesterday, but we didn't get to play this nice-looking island. All right, so let's let's go play some matches in ranked with this Azorius Skies deck. Yeah, Hawkeye, okay, we'll get started here. Let's see how it does. Okay. Yeah, I um I don't know. Like so like I said, like this this was I didn't make this list. These were <laughs> these were lists from the Arena MCQ. So yeah, I don't there's only just the one favorable wins. I guess that's all it could fit in. Because you need to have as many flyers as possible to be able to play Safara. So you can't really play other spells that are not flyers when you're trying to get Safara in a play. Um there are a couple favorable wins in the sideboard. Which, that's the thing that I'm not... I don't know when I'm supposed to sideboard in favorable wins. That's something that I'm going to be kind of on the lookout here. And seeing, like, what... what, Like, how is the game played where I'm like, okay, I wish I had more favorable wins. I'm not exactly sure what that game's going to look like yet. All right, so we want to lead with, so looking at one drops of white, blue, and blue, you want to lead with the blue, and when we have the basic planes here, we don't just go like planes Pegasus, because then you can only play one of this, one of the one drops in the second turn. So we want to lead with Mis Miscreant. Oh, well now it doesn't really matter, but so that we could have played one drop, one drop. Plus also, you know, Pegasus can't actually attack or block alone, so leading with it doesn't make a lot of sense either. All right, so we need to draw. We need to draw any one or two mana flyer here. Any one or two mana flyer, and we're golden. Because we need four flyers for Safara, and we got three. Darn. Well, I don't. I don't have anything else to do with my mana here. I'm just gonna go ahead and rally. Honestly. Let's get that Arboreal Grazer out of here. It doesn't set up lethal next turn with the other rally yet. I mean, that's still just 10 points right now. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah, that's... Um, I was like, nobody plays Rally of Wings. Like, whenever they gave out Rally of Wings for the, the monthly prize, I was like, what is this card? Never even heard of it. And then, yeah, with the Foresight, they knew they were going to be printing, like, Imperion Eagle and stuff. Um, so this is three, four, five, six, seven. It's, like, really lethal next turn anyway. I kind of want to play the Safara, but you have to tap all your creatures so we don't get to do any damage. Um... How can I lose if I play Safara? I don't think I can. I can't think of anything they could have. Well, I guess that's a start. Huh. I didn't even have lethal there. Doesn't feel like we need to do a whole lot here. Um, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to take out like, honestly, maybe I'm supposed to take out Safara for fla favorable wins in matchups that don't have very much removal. So I guess they could have like Cavalier Thorns would be like something that would be annoying to get around. I could have a Prison Realm. For a Cavalier of Thorns. I think I want that. Let's get a Prison Realm in here. And an extra favorable wins. And call it a day. What's up, Skull to Mind? And Zerf, hey, what's up? Yeah, this is definitely a win fast, lose fast kind of deck. I guess we'll put one rally back. This is a horrible hand against Legion's End. If I wouldn't, if I know I was draw, drawing another sailor, I would have definitely put one of those back. Day's going good. Playing some new decks today. Excited about it. <laughs> no, I wasn't brave enough to keep the zero land hand. I shouldn't do that before they make their decision. It's probably their decision anyway, though. The safer play here is Storm Tamer to protect from Legion's End. This is the more aggressive play where we're killing them next turn if they don't have anything. Okay, well, Blast Zone's a card. I didn't consider Blast Zone. So good thing we didn't play Storm Tamer. Yeah, it turned out that the safe play was actually the the one that would have really blown me out. <laughs> Thanks, Silence. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. This deck is nasty. They're just dead already. We just started. 
I started recording for this, including talking about like the whole deck and everything, like ten minutes ago. We're like ten minutes into the video, we already won a won a match. There's just so many flyers. That Rally of Wings card is busted. <laughs> this deck makes mono re mono red feel slow. Yeah, I know, right? We we had three we mulligan to six, had three of our creatures destroyed by blast zone. And killed him on like turn five. Yeah, that was turn five kill. <laughs> Played this in the standard shakeup. Oh yeah, this is this is a great best of one standard shakeup deck. Yeah, you got six wins in twenty minutes. I should have done that. Um, we'll start with you. You have lifelink. Birdie. Alright, so I'm going with these two so that we get to draw a card. So even if there's like a deafening clarion here, we're still going to draw our card. Because if I go Pegasus, Miscreant, and then they Clarion, then I don't get to draw a card. Mind and body meditate and prepare. So if I pl play Safara this next turn, I don't get to, uh, like, they, they get to activate Narset again if I play Safara. I could just go Imperion Eagle and, like, attack. But that's kind of risky also. So I want to get Safara in play for the indestructible. Put thoughtfulness before action. Darn. Ugh, I did not want to see that card because that bounces Safara, of course. It was just one damage to get Narset off the battlefield. I thought that was worth it. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Like in a deck that's playing like Sarkin and stuff. It was just it was just one damage. This is like three damage. That's a lot different than one. I'm trying to think of like what what the worst they can do by doing like the tick up on Teferi. Hey, what's up, King J? Yeah, we are playing some skies. It's been really no, impressive so I am far. Not making this up as I go. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is a. I don't think this is. Or yeah, cleansing Nova. Yeah, yeah, Nova. Never mind. You were. I was thinking, blast. Yeah, I don't think they're playing Urza's Ruinous Blast, but yeah. I've got it. 
they would have to because they had to get rid of Safara. So I don't th they couldn't really get rid of Safara and Nova. But now they do have a land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I just want to keep getting this Safara in play. I want to keep my creatures having indestructible. For two damage, do I attack that thing? Uh, six so try refresh your stream real quick and see if there's a notification bubble that pops up for you to send. If not, give me just a second. I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to attack this to fairy or not. Nine, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we're we're going this way. Because if they bounce Safara again, we still have lethal. There we go. Sixo Saxa with the resub. Thank you so much there, Sixo. I appreciate that. That's more like it. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm not ready for this quite yet. And then we have the lethal. Okay. What do you Are you talking about like date like whenever I have whenever I take days off, Choco, or or just like what I do just during the day when I'm not streaming. Yeah, so far as slowing us down, but yeah, giving giving our creatures indestructible is an important way to slow down opponents as well. So yeah, we have we have a bunch of Dovin's Vetoes we can play. It doesn't really feel like favorable wins is necessary. Like, this is not a, a matchup where having, like, that size, mat, like, that little bit of extra size matters too much. We need to just uh, have enough creatures deal damage. They're killing all my stuff. Safaras can get just get stuck in hand. I think I it's probably better to be going with Dovin's vetoes for spells than Safara, honestly. Maybe one Safara still. Just don't really want Safara against removal heavy decks. I don't really want any of these other cards though. Maybe a Teferi. Could see them playing are they gonna be playing deputy maybe not with clarion i really don't want prison realm i don't like prison realm at all okay yeah so um i spend a couple hours every day of like putting together putting together decks like whenever i'm building decks and everything um you know spend a couple hours of like getting getting all that kind of stuff ready for the stream um, one land. Uh, I don't want a one lander. But besides that, um, I've been playing, uh, Fire Emblem on the Switch these days. I usually have like a Switch game that I'm playing. I exercise every day. I um, I like sports, especially baseball. 
and basketball. But yeah, I, usually the games are happening when I'm streaming though, but I'll you know go through and check like all the box scores and look at highlights and all that kind of stuff. These hands are horrendous. Hmm. No, I'm a Rangers fan. Uh, so yeah, yeah, the Texas Rangers. Being from Dallas, I had, after I graduated college, I got season tickets for a couple of years, and that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, that's my team, and. Um, my other team is the Minnesota Twins because I was born in Iowa. That's why Hawkeye is named Hawkeye after the Iowa Hawkeyes. And so Minnesota was the closest. The Twins were like the closest team whenever I was a little kid, so I liked them. And so I'm pretty excited about how they're doing this year. Even yeah, Sir Eulen Drake can survive red damage spells, but I don't know if that's really what I want to be like something that I really want to be playing. Because you know, red damage spells aren't just the only thing they got, and it's still really slow. Practiced against them and keep an open mind. I don't want to like have everything die to a Clarion, so I'm just gonna kind of take it easy here. You could use some training. Okay, no, that's that's fine, Starlax. Sigh for the Cyclones. That's cool. Yes, I did. Did eat, had some mac and cheese today. Huh, Pegasus. Pegasus I can play. Pegasus can't attack with other creatures anyway. Without other creatures anyway. Um. So, I was at the grocery store, and I noticed they had, like, just walking by the aisle, just something just really caught my eye. They had pumpkin spice flavored spam. Like, that's a thing. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sick. Like, why is there Check pumpkin spice flavored words. spam? Doesn't feel like that should be a thing, but that was a thing. And that kind of got me thinking, like, fall time, you just see pumpkin spice everything, I guess. I guess literally everything now. Or is it getting a little warm? Thanks, Douglas. And I was kind of thinking, I was like, that, that seems pretty unique, because what... Right nothing like what other seasons have like that kind of like flavoring that you only get in that season like you don't have like pumpkin spice stuff other times besides autumn um so like what else like what other like other seasons don't have that right like winter doesn't have some spring summer Right? Peppermint for winter? You get peppermint stuff? Okay, so winter is peppermint everything? I couldn't think of like a flavoring like, oh man, spring's here so now you can go get whatever flavor of everything. But yeah, pump, pumpkin has just completely taken over autumn. Hmm. 
bunch of lime lime flavored stuff in summer. I guess this gets rid of Chandra. Hmm. Maybe I should play the Drake though. Drake gets bounced by Teferi. I could just be completely off and like favorable wins is what we're supposed to have to try to get our stuff to four toughness. Summer's barbecue flavors for you. Just you're saying summer is different fruits and citruses. But I can't think of any like Oh it's it's summertime, so I know like this restaurant or like I know just all the restaurants are gonna have you know this specific flavoring, like basically you know, there's like pumpkin. It's just pumpkin's just kinda everywhere. Pumpkin flavoring that is. So getting these two in play where yeah, didn't think I need to veto, but now I can hold up veto or play sailor. Not a good draw. Land would have been good where we could have like double veto or activate sailor. A three mana card that I don't want to cast is not a good draw. Ooh, glad they didn't have a spell pierce. Still another three drop that we don't want to play. Probably the <clears throat> three drops are like the worst possible draws. So back to back. Worst possible draws. Alright, Veto is uncounterable. <laughs> Okay, not worse possible. Not a bad one. Fury will only lead you astray. I guess I okay, I need to I need to think about that attack a little bit longer. I if I would have sent all of them at them, they would be at eight and they would be taking lethal for playing Teferi here. I, I needed to think about that attack a little bit longer. But now I, I have no protection from Clarion or Chandra or anything like that. You a spirit? Are you a spirit? You're a spirit? Yeah, I should not have attacked Narset there. Nars Narset could have just found a good removal spell, though. Also, that minus. So it... You know, like they had the extra two mana there. They're going time wipe.
It is, I mean, it is possible that... It is possible that the two damage on the Narset did make a big difference. I think I think maybe like that sixth point there, instead of going from six to five, I should have hit Narset to keep the Mox Amber from adding mana though. Hey Rad the Reptile. Thought my opponent was playing loyal Peg Pegasus there for a minute. Behold. Correct. If I if I did not if I did not attack Narset, I would have had lethal earlier. But also that the Narset could have minused and found something that would have been really good and really would have really helped them um i i think i should have not from you know the very last attack that i had from six going down from six to five i think i should have hit the narset for one though this seems like just kind of a tough matchup for us though a deck with just a whole lot of sweepers including a really efficient one with deafening clarion and a bunch of interaction and everything this does not seem like the matchup that I want to be facing. Yeah, but Vito can only counter one thing. Like, Vito countered the Teferi. They had two extra mana that turn that they played Teferi that they didn't use. That might, maybe, like, the Narset finds something for that two mana, like a Coil or a Shock, that doesn't make it lethal still. And then... And then, you know, they untap and uh, do their thing. So it, it's not like it was guaranteed that we're going to have lethal through, like, whenever we dove into Vito Teferi. But it's it's definitely possible that we did. But I'm just saying it's not guaranteed that we did. All right, one and one. Yeah, I don't like the the deafening clarion deck. I don't like I don't like that deafening clarion deck. But you want me to just throw away a three two to get two damage in? Y'all are wondering why. Like y'all really want me to attack there and just throw away a three two for two damage? Like why is that? That doesn't really seem like a good attack. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's possible I sideboarded incorrectly. Possible that I'm supposed to be keeping Safara in. We saw how our opponent was getting rid of the Safara all the time, but like maybe they're not able to. There. The deck I don't have very much experience with, and that's a it's a good point. That maybe I should keep the Safara in for that matchup. Maybe I'll try that for next time. I would have had lethal the turn before if you traded one creature to the dragon. No, I wouldn't have. I would have dealt them two damage. And then the next turn we would have had zero we would have had zero damage. Wouldn't have been able to attack the next turn. By the time they were playing dragons, I had there's no possible way to have lethal. Um what are y'all talking about?
So Executioner is two creatures for Safara, but it costs three mana. Oh yeah, I forgot about Rally of Wings. That would have been a good card to draw at any of those times for the Clarions. That would have been nice. All good, though. All right, so Spectral Sailor is a spirit as far as Phantom goes. None of these other ones are. Yeah, let's lead with Sailor. So any land will let me go Phantom Safara is what I want to be doing. What's up, Chandler? Thanks for that resub there. I appreciate that. 29 you months. Like You're here. awesome. Thanks so much, Chandler. These hanged executioners. Not... I've not been liking them. I'm going to go Phantom here to use the mana a little better. I'm going to kill that thing. You don't have to look at it anymore. Because now next turn I could go Miscreant, Safara. Which does mean I'm not attacking with anything. Is this even a matchup where we want Safara? Though... What are they, like, setting up for removal here? I'm guessing Tyrant Scorn. I mean, they could have Contempt, I suppose. Cast down. That's Tyrant Scorn. Same thing. Basically, a two-mana removal spell that didn't kill Safara is what I was guessing there. Right on schedule. I'll protect you. Stop having to fairies. I can no longer stand by and watch. You need to take a time out. Yeah, if we play Executioner, then Kai's Wrath this wrecks us really bad. bad. I wanted Safara in play. So I'll just be drawing a card with Sailor here. Safara gives all of our all of our other flyers indestructible. I know 88 ways to get I have just the trick for this. Yeah, you still have to pay a white mana. It's not just free when you have four creatures. They do get to minus Narset again. Wait, maybe I shouldn't be playing this. I really don't. I guess, no, because Kaiser Rat doesn't really matter. We have Safara. Okay. That's fine. And no, I'm not going to do one point of damage to Narset that activates Othakaya. 
Uh, I guess if I would have attacked Narset, they wouldn't have found removal for Safara. Oh no, that doesn't draw a card. Darn it. Oh well. That means that I'm going all out. Forget this. We're not playing around Kaiserath. They haven't had it this whole time. They're not going to have it. The past, present, and future okay. <laughs> action. All right, still haven't found it yet. Uh, one point off. So this means they go to... Uh, they go to four if I attack Narset here. Yeah, I don't think I can let them dig another four cards for Kaya's Wrath. So we'll let them go to four. Should I just let them go to five and kill Narset so that, so that I can activate Sailor more? Might as well have them at five. Liliana and one we still have Liliana and one removal spell covered at five I was not prepared for this oh it's six well, that was five your corpse hmm. will make an excellent minion a little death never hurt anyone. I'm going to diversify for Legion's End. I played the land because if we would have drawn drawn another Spectral Sailor from our draw step there, we could have flashed in Spectral Sailor. Like if we would have, if we would have drawn another Sailor off of this Sailor. Um... So they kill loyal Peg Pegasus and they don't die. So we got to play this thing so that they have removal for Pegasus. They still die. Okay, that was a little bit of a rodeo, but we got there. So like, am I supposed to just keep Safara because it protects Safara protects from rats? But then Safara is pretty easy to kill with like Mortify and stuff. I definitely do not want Rally of Wings here. Like this is not like where Rally of Wings saves from Clarion. Like there, I would guess I guess Cry of the Carnarium. So I have Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think the Time Raveler really does anything. I don't think I don't think Teferi does anything. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Cry of the Carnarium is going to be a big problem. <laughs> I I don't believe you would be the only Spanish subscriber. Okay. I definitely want the vetoes, but I guess we'll just kind of split with a with a couple Safaras, couple rallies. Rally good against Cry, Safara good against Kaya's Wrath.
Yeah, Yud's from Spain. Well, considering we have a land on top here, we'll keep this two lander. Darn it. Not a two lander. Definite two lander. I need like one more turn to be able to have Rally of Wings protect from that. defeat. Hey, Rockle Guru. Well, besides Kai's Wrath, we're good. Bleh. Besides that card. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted the clock and, you know, force them to have it kind of thing. I don't know. Without that, like, we're attacking for two a turn. Which is not much damage. We didn't time this very well, though. What a waste of a Mortify. That card literally doesn't do anything at all. It can't possibly do anything. Like, just Mortify the next creature I play. That was just, that was just an actual waste of a card. We had a rally of wings for the Kai's Wrath. That's not not great there. Hmm. I like our deck. Our, I like our deck before the sideboard games. <laughs> These sideboard games are rough. No guru. I haven't. I haven't tried that deck. I 
I'm gonna try to. Yeah, Hanged Executioner probably could come out. I don't didn't really see anything else I wanted. I mean, I guess I could play an extra Safara instead of it. I wish we had like a card advantage engine in our sideboard for like these kind of matchups. Darn. That was really nice that now we don't have the Storm Tamer to protect Safara. Just have a Dispark for two cards in my deck. Well, putting them on the clock of you have to have Kaiser at this, this turn kind of thing. I mean, obviously they could just have other removal. But... Alright, so... Sorry, Playing the e eagle wor worked. You need to slow we had to get rid of it to fairy, or <laughs> to fairy. I meant to do that. Only time will tell. You just click the creatures. Like you just go click, 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 you know, to click like multiple creatures and then you can target. Wow, they didn't have any wraths this game. It's a lot easier when they don't have wraths. So far, we've won 100% of the games that our opponent has not played a Wrath effect. Every match. If our opponent's not played a Wrath, we've won 100% of the time. Ooh. Guess I, we leveled up. Got a Guilds of Ravnica pack. Unfortunately, it's not a very good pack for me because I actually I have all the rares of Mythics and Guilds of Ravnica. So, hoping for a wild card. Otherwise, it'll be gems, and it's just... Ten cents worth of gems. Yeah, Esper is still a good deck. They kind of ran out of gas there for sure. Oh hey, so there's GGs. Yeah, that. GG's there. Let's see. And I guess. Yeah, this is fine. Game one. This is kind of the same thing. Game one also. We had a couple of games where we sweated out. It is what our our deck does a good job of pressuring the opponents to have good stuff immediately. You know, don't really have very much time against our deck. So that's. That's a, a plus for our deck, I suppose. And I suppose I could have shocked in to keep Storm Tamer's ability available. I don't really know if that's important, though. What's a faster clock going, Eagle or Executioner? Or it's a, yeah. So right now, it's if I play Eagle, it's four damage to put him down to 15. And then if we rally, it's... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we do not have lethal next turn. Um, so let's go with this ex Executioner. It's still not lethal the next turn anyway. Yeah, so it's it's three. I guess we got the three turn plan of executioner, then eagle, then rally.
Because because the Storm Tamer does get to protect the Eagle now. Soren could really hurt. Just attack for four. Just attack for four, put them to 13, and then it's two, so it's four, eight, 12. Ugh. If they pay four life, though. Oh, but they can't attack with the lieutenant because of the eagle. Please don't have Soren or um, the four drop. No lifelink stuff. No, they can't have Soren for lethal here because they had to spend three mana for Knight of the Ebon Legion. Which means they can't have three mana for that and three mana for Soren. Well, that makes my life easier. I drink only the fight. Just didn't even target. Didn't even sacrifice. I mean, we had we had them dead, dead either way, but. They're like, no, all these vampires are too valuable. So against vampires, I'm kind of assuming, assuming we want these deputies. Need to send some vampires to jail. Is Hanged Executioner too slow? Like, is that just the replacement? Do I just take out Executioner and bring in Deputy? Favorable wins too slow? No, it's probably not too slow. And then cut one Supreme Phantom for... Wrong card. One phantom for the prison realm. Worried about having enough flyers if we cut phantom. Oh, we just have three deputies? So it's just the deputies and, and a prison realm instead of the executioners? Maybe.
Maybe I play one Executioner. I mean, that Executioner was pretty good there. I think it was better than a Prison... Eh, maybe it wasn't better than a Prison Realm would be. Thought about a build with Agent of Treachery and Blink Effects. That would be pretty fun. Like, Teferi's... There's the... Whatever that Teferi's card called. Time Twist. Yeah, Teferi's Time Twist. And Agent of Treachery. Don't think you can play Agent with 20 lands. Like Agent of Treachery in this? Like, not in this deck. Is that what you mean? Agent of Treachery in this deck? Debo 4? You might have had a separate side conversation, though, also. Yeah, maybe we need a Lumbering Battlement Agent of Treachery deck. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they were talking about a completely different deck. Just building a deck around Agent of Treachery and Blink Effects. That could be pretty fun. This Safari is going to be really sweet. I'm liking this Safara Storm Tamer combo. That'll do. Wow, that was angelic. The vampires were, they were coming down there and play fast. They were ravaging us. We, we were in trouble. All hope was lost. And then the angel came down, saved the day, drove the vampires out of here. And game over. All right, we're playing one more match here with Azorius, guys. We'll move on to our next decks. <laughs> yeah, that angel really helped us out. Yeah, Lumbering Battlement, Agent of Treachery. Uh, it's just how are we getting the Agent of Treachery in play is kind of the hard part. I don't know. I'll think about it. That, that seems like something fun to do. Remember our, our Bant Party Bus deck that we infinitely milled people? That instead of that, we just infinitely steal their permanents, just steal all their permanents. Be a lot harder to pull off. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess it would have to probably be like Blood for Bones type stuff. I mean, our opponent's on a mulligan and it's game one. I'm gonna keep this. Because, like, what are we gonna draw? We're we gonna draw a land? 
cool. If it's not a land, it's going to just be one drops. One drops are good. Like that's all that's in our deck are lands and one drops. Or we're going to draw that crappy two drop. And that one's not as good. All we have are lands and, and one drops. Draws a two drop, draws another two drop. I can no longer Gosh, stand two drops are so bad. Trust me, I, have a plan. I mean, three drops are even worse. This is a decent three drop, though. Can't use one removal spell to take them both out. Got time. I really should have seen that coming. Well, good news they just had the three cards before their draw step here, so they don't have a lot of don't have just like a ton of cards over there. Bleh. I would have liked to draw a land to be able to go double phantom. Storm Tamer is nice. Protect Safara. Yeah, you can take any of these. It's fine. Because we could counter that with Storm Tamer also, but we don't need to. I hope they have Cast Down on top. Open mind. <laughs> it was cast down. Not gonna let them minus Narset again. Contain your rage. So yeah, <laughs> all my non-legendaries have indestructible. <laughs> no. I am not going to sit this one out. Oh yeah, we have Storm Tamer. Never mind, we're great. Hey, six one nine. <laughs> Screen's a little smaller on, on mobile. Yeah, we're doing a we're doing a modified version of tier one at Tuesday today. I'm playing uh, um, I'm playing four decks that did well in the arena MCQ this weekend in ranked and seeing how they treat us. So we've played a lot of the tier one decks already on for tier one Tuesdays and so yeah, we're doing a little modified version there. All right, so maybe we're supposed to keep the Safaras. We talked about that last time. Or no, that was against the red deck that used damage for like everything. I 
Uh, Safara's been pretty good still, though. Let's go... We'll trim one Safara. Instead, like last time we did this with two Rally, two Safara, but let's go three Safara, one Rally. Rally mostly for the Carnarium of Crying. Uh, no, I have not played a deck that has Agent of Treachery as a win con. Ugh. I thought about a... <clears throat> like, there was... You know, I looked at a lot of different decks for the... You know, look, well, I looked at all the, the decks for the arena ones, but one that caught my eye was a Sultai, Yurok, Agent of Treachery main deck. Uh, deck. But we played, we've been playing a lot of Sultai decks recently, and so I passed over it for these other ones. Take the Eagles out against Esper. You like, you like favorable wins over Imperion Eagle? Like, would this look better with two favorable wins? No, don't. Because, like, if they just kill my creatures, they can ignore favorable wins. This Elise is a creature. I know it's not great, but... No, I don't really have a link to that list. It's somewhere on the wizard site with all the other 128 decks. They don't have... It's not very convenient to... I don't even have the, the link to the list of all the decks and everything. I don't... Don't really know where it is, to be honest. Oh, you're welcome, Shadow. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. This isn't a fight. You don't worry. I got this. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. See you back here in an hour. Six one nine. Lil Pegasus is not good at times. It is not very good at times. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, the deck lists are available somewhere. I don't know if anybody has a link to them. And that's that's where I got the, the decks that we're playing today. I should have played the eagle first. I was kind of talking and clicked to go to attacks. It's only a matter of time. Played that last turn. My prowess, hone your prowess. Ugh. I don't get to draw another card while Narset's out there. much to learn. I trade. I have just the trick for this. Rude, rude. I guess just playing my lands out, though, whenever we have Safara. Last card was Disfigure. Man, this Loyal Pegasus. What a waste. 
This is just one. They only get to look at one card here. I guess it's not game over. If they had like a big Teferi, it'd be game over. That getting extra cards every turn. This is pretty game over. The focus and disciplined thoughtfulness before action. Narset gets to dig so much. All lands over here. Four draws in a row. Yeah, Pegasus is Pegasus is not is not very good. Neither is the Eagle. I mean, we we're gonna struggle against a whole bunch of rats. Like, what is what is like? I assume this card's like for Flash. I guess. Like, what is this? What does this card do in this matchup? Like, how does this help us? So I wish we had just like something to bring in, like some kind of card advantage thing to bring in here. Like even like Dovin that would just make multiple bodies. I don't know, like just something. This Dovin is not that much. I mean, it's similar to Hanged Executioner though. Gideon, that's the card. Looks like I need some Gideons in the sideboard. That's the card. Now get Gideon's a lot better than Moo. I don't think our four land one one drop three like a one drop a three drop and a Dovin's veto is really going to get there I wanted to go to six or, you know, I wanted to try a new hand but obviously that seven card hand is better than than this five card hand I mean that's not that's not too close Open mind. You know, if my choice was keep that seven or go to five, I would have kept that seven. What's up, D Love? Thanks for resubbing. I'm not beating any Kaiser at their Cry of the Cranarium anyway. We're just going to get our other 1 1 out here. Hello, Brazil. Yeah. 
no time yes, to know my excellent yep. timing. Enough. Wish I had that veto a turn earlier for this Teferi, but maybe we get to kill the Teferi. Hold that thought. I just can't let them have Teferi for more often. I mean, I know they could just have, like, a better removal spell here. But I can't just, like, let it happen. We have to kill Teferi. That thing just gains them so much life. Ugh, these Narsets are a huge beating. They have a lot of cards that are a huge beating. I didn't you update this over here, did I'm I? Oh, I didn't update it twice. We're at six subs on the day. You get on that. I have just the trick for this. All right. So, admittedly, our our control matchup looks to be the weakness in our deck. I'll show restraint. Here. I mean, a couple of, like, two of the, so, you know, like, with, we lost two matches, and in both matches, one of the games, we mold the five. So, like, in both of our losses, <clears throat> like, they're, they're both pretty similar. We, they're both against control. One Jeskai, one Esper. We won game one both times. Um... And then, actually, did we win game one that, that time against that one? Maybe we didn't against Esper there, actually. Maybe we got game two. I don't remember. So maybe not that. But anyway, uh, in both of our mat matches that we lost, we did mold a five in one of the games. But, yeah, it really felt like the deck could use a little bit more punch because... Against it, against decks that are filled with sweepers, which right now with all of the all of like the the emphasis on killing a lot of zombies at one time or like vampires, there are a lot of sweepers in the format. So against those kind of decks, these loyal Pegasuses aren't so good, as we noticed there. But then we have like other things like rally and favorable wins, and even I mean like maybe I just shouldn't be taking out Safara at all. I took out like. Four originally, then two, then one. But yeah, like Imperion Eagle is just really slow, and you know, three mana creature that d dies very easily to like the sweepers. With everything else, Eagle's not great. Um, if they kill your creatures, you're just stuck with this pump spell in hand, which isn't great. So yeah, I would like a Planeswalker that can do damage from the sideboard or just give us another form of attack, another angle. Like we only have like the creatures. We just have like the one very easy to deal with angle of attack. Very straightforward. We a couple we talked about is like maybe Dovin, but I think that even more than Dovin, I just like Gideon against these kind of decks. Like where they're they're not really preparing for Gideon a lot after Cyborg. You know, like they're trying to have like as many, you know, Cry of the Canariums and Cast Down and Legion's End and um, Kaya's Wrath, and then with the other one, Deafening Clarion, and all that kind of stuff. And so I think I just want like some Gideons in the sideboard that hit really hard. Gideons don't get bounced by Teferi. Um, you know, like I want that. I want that card. I want. I want like a couple of these. I don't want like these Time Ravelers. I don't want this Prison Realm. I don't want these cards. 
I don't want these favorable wins. I don't, I don't, I don't know what these favorable wins are doing, honestly. Like, may, oh, maybe these are. Oh, I bet, I bet these are for chain, chain whirler. I bet these favorable wins are for chain whirler in the sideboard. Yeah, I bet that's what those are for. Are for chain whirler. But yeah, like I would, I don't want this card. I don't want this card. I want these. That's what I would want. Yeah. So there we go. I am going to be making a rotation proof version of this deck um, on Monday. We talked about that yesterday. So I wanted to kind of play this deck also. That was like another reason why I wanted to play this deck today. So I get a little bit of practice in with it. Because yeah, I'm going to make <clears throat> for rotation proof Monday. That was going to be one of them. That was going to be my Azorius deck here. Yeah, I don't really want Moo. Um, like, Moo's an option also, the Yanling. But it's just pretty so. I think Gideon hits a whole lot harder. Because, like, what do, you, what do you do with Moo? Like, so Moo has, like, suspend one, then you make a 4 4 token that just gets bounced by Teferi Time Raveler. No. Like, I, I don't want to just make tokens that get bounced by, like, slow slowly make tokens that to get bounced by Teferi Time Raveler. Like, no thank you. I want Gideon. Yeah, Spell Pierce is another good option. I was kind of wishing that we had more permission spells to go along with the Veto. So yeah, Spell Pierce is another option there. But that's Azorius Sky. Still a good showing. Um, you know, lost to a couple of sweeper heavy decks, but nothing wrong with a 3-2 there. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Also leave a comment. I'd appreciate all of those. But thank you so much for watching Azorius Skies, and I will see you for the next video.